between Carolina Kovalkiewicz and Juliana Lima. So here is the longtime Muay Thai practitioner, Juliana Jutai Lima, born in Belo Horizonte, Minas Gerais, Brazil. Now training out of Gracie Baja, Texas, under Vinny Draculino Magalhães. Outstanding Muay Thai game, Joe. Devastating ground and pound. Good takedown game as well. Couple wins by knockout to her credit. We'll see if there's an uptick in the power here tonight for Juliana Lima. This girl has excellent footwork. She is very difficult to get a hold of, very difficult to keep up against the cage, and her footwork, both moving in and out and side to side, are outstanding. She's very difficult to catch cleanly and excellent at closing the distance and landing her own strikes. So here's the Polish strawweight contender, Karolina Kovalkiewicz, at one point worked her way into a title fight against her fellow countrywoman, Joanna Jacek. Kovalkiewicz continuing to be a force to be reckoned with at 115 pounds. Outstanding striker, plus submission skills as well. A very technical fighter who brings a lot to the UFC tape. This girl has ridiculous stamina. The ability to push a pace that her opponent can't keep up with is one of her strongest assets. Her cardio is off the charts. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Kovalkiewicz is 32, Lima is 35. The reach is identical. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Steve LeVay. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. From the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer with a professional record of nine wins, five losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting at a Belo Horizonte, Brazil, Juliana Jupai Lima. And now it is your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 13 wins, four losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Carolina Kovalkiewicz. Okay, protect yourself at all time. Will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is gonna go down right now. We are underway. So Carolina Kovalkiewicz initially started training at 16 to protect herself. She has become one of the best strikers in this UFC strawweight division. Still has visions of getting back to a title fight against Joanna Jacek. Tonight, if she can get the win, that would be a huge step in that direction. Look at that nasty jab. All right, first round is underway. Let's see how long it takes her to find her range with those vaunted, powerful overhand punches. Obviously, it's a big part of her repertoire, and more often than not, the UFC, even when opponents have known it has been coming, they have been unable to stop it. Nice knee, very nicely done. That one hurt. Nice punch there by Kovalkiewicz. And her knees in the clinch are outstanding. 
Pummels in and double underhooks. Kovalkiewicz hey. gets the tie clinch here. She moves to the back now. And there comes the separation now. Thought there might be an opening for the punch there, Joe. Instead, a swing and a miss by Carolina Kovalkiewicz. Slightly deflected. Well, I'll certainly laud her toughness, Joe, but that's not a good look as she absorbs that strike to the body. She almost leaned into that one, so let's see if she can make some adjustments here. Move the elbow down, lower the guard to prevent more body work from her opponent. You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lima. Tying up here in the clinch. Looking to try to get some sort of an advantage. That knee might have landed there. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Lands with the knee to the body. Oh, another knee by Lima. One minute now to go in round one. Oh, big knee! This could be it right here. Oh, big left hook there. Hard straight punch. Lima's shot is blocked. Look at that. Oh, nice job by her there to catch the leg, but ultimately she decides to let it go. No harm, no foul. Finds a home for the left hand there. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Final seconds here of round one. Warm sounds for the end of round one. Let's take a look at this kick. Here's a powerful leg kick. Here's a perfectly placed leg kick. Incredible highlights in that round. You're pushing the pace. I like that. But we have to be more accurate. You can't just punch your arms all night. You have to get through. Brittany Palmer in the building. All right, let's get to round two. How about that chin? Well, she has landed some very significant strikes, but as yet, she has still been unable to string together anything in terms of a solid combination. And it is going to take strikes in bunches to get an opponent of this caliber out of there. Let's see where she goes from here. Good shot. Oh, there's a leg kick. Well, she left her head open there, Joe, and she paid for it. She continues to lean in almost as if she's moving into the strike. She'd be wise to change up the tempo here. Clean, straight punch. And speed, man. Good combination. Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with Good it. Good punch. She's got the clinch here. She lands the knee to the body here on the clinch. Look at this. Over under hooks here on the clinch, Joe. We'll see what she can do with it. And now she's got the tie clinch. Gets the elbow up into the target. Clinch battle continues. Now she's got over under. She's got double under hooks here. Kovalkiewicz gets caught with that punch. She pummels out of double under hooks here. Damaging strike there. Changes her stance. Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Good defense there. Oh, she lands another strike to the body, Joe. She's really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the body. Less than two minutes now to go in round two. She slips that left hand there. And the kick lands for her there. Effective punch there by Lima. Oh, huge block for her, Joe. 
Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Lima gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, excellent exchange there. 45 shots. She's stunned back. The left hook hits home. 30 seconds to go. Whoa! Wow! This could be it. Here we get a look at some of the action from that round. And here's a nice shot lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Big round. Ariane Celeste on hand as usual. Third round underway. Big left hand there inside. Oh! Wow! This could be it right here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Some real power shots here. Oh, very nice. is this young woman. High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here. Oh! Oh! Nasty combinations here. Oh, head kick! Great exchanges. Oh, she blocks the punch. Pretty strong jab there by Lima. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight oh, goes on. Oh, oh. This could be it. Nice leg kick. Spinning back fist. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Kovalkiewicz gets caught with that punch. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges she stay out. Again. She's hurt. This could be it right here. Jab. Good defense there. That bruising on her torso is getting a lot worse. Man, this could be it. Oh, she got tagged again. She's hurt. She moves to full guard. Full out. Perfectly timed sweep. Good control, posture's up. She gets her back. So Lima's hammer fist is blocked. Covering up, doing a nice job of stopping that ground and pound. Half guard. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books.
And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Perfectly placed strike here, lands on target. Ariane Celeste on hand. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. That last round was... Oh! 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 And just like that, the fight is over. Huge spinning back fist right on the button. Yeah, that's a big win, Joe, and if you're trying to send a message to the rest of this division, that is how you send it. So a near-perfect shot for her to end the fight. She had this crowd behind her all night long, and I'm not sure how many other fighters in this division could have absorbed that strike and stayed in the fight. A near-perfect land to get the knockout win here tonight. Here we see it again. Boom. And there she is after the huge knockout victory here tonight. What a moment for this young fighter. You gotta feel pretty good for her, Joe. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 10 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Carolina Bouvet-Kavis.